Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve a black screen in Left 4 Dead 2. This is a full tutorial. So make sure you watch this video till the very end and you try everything I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Try every step, every method. And uh, also, if you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe for daily tutorials. Now let's jump right into the video. And... Uh, also, I forgot to tell you, make sure you leave your results in the comment section. I'm really curious to read uh, if that works for you. If there's positive results or negative, I'm really curious to find out. So let's jump right into the video. So what you have to do, make sure you check the description of this video. In the description of this video, you should find all the links, all the websites here. Click on Direct X and User Runtime and make sure you install this. This is what you need in order to run any game. Pretty much, you need Direct X and User Runtime Web Installer. All right. So just click on this download button, and then what you have to do is just to save the file. Okay. Now you can install this. It's very easy. Just click on Accept Next uncheck and click on next okay already have it on my computer now the next thing that you have to install is microsoft visual c plus plus the microsoft visual c plus plus and uh click here and uh, just install this file all right and then once you install this microsoft visual c plus plus what you have to do is just to install for um, nvidia users geforce drivers GeForced Experience, Forced Experience, and here what you have to do is to simply click on drivers and then click on check for update. And if there's an available driver, make sure you uh, click on download so you install the latest, the latest uh, driver available. All right. And now for Intel users, make sure you install this driver. And also for AMD user, make sure you install this software that will install all the drivers you need for you. And this is what you can do here as well. You can install this as well. And uh, now the next method, make sure you also head over to Windows Update and update your Windows. But not only update your Windows, make sure you also head over to Advanced Options in here. In advanced options you have optional updates and make sure you uh, click on this driver updates and here you should see all the updates available all the drivers that you can update and click on download and install right from here okay so that's the end of this video please leave your results in the comment section and if i found a different ways to fix this problem i will create a part two thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe for more tutorials Thank you.